Welcome back to another Champion Deep Dive, and today we're talking about Penny Parker. She's got Auto Block, Power Control, Power Gain, Poison and Incinerate Immunity, with a special 2 that's just burning for you to see it in action. Let's get into it. Parker joins the contest with an always active SPDR suit, giving her immunity to poison and incinerate effects. Opponents suffer negative 100% true strike, true accuracy, and true sense effect ability accuracy, keeping those potential opponents in check when it comes to breaking an auto block, but more on that later. Now, when opponents fill a power bar, Penny gains one spider sense charge. You can stack these up to 10 but any additional charges will last for 22 seconds. Also, Penny has a Sync Shield and starts the fight with it active. The Sync Shield's max strength is based on her opponent's attack rating. This ability is not affected by class advantage. So in other words, the higher the opponent attack, the stronger your shields will be, giving you a bit of extra protection from high attack value. Now, while fighting as a defender, the Sync Shield's max strength is increased by 100%. Now, when Penny would take damage from a blocked or auto-blocked hit, the Sync Shield takes up 100% of the damage instead. When the Sync Shield runs out of strength, it goes on cooldown for 20 seconds, after which it reactivates at max strength. Now, while the Sync Shield is active, Spider Protocol is engaged. So when Penny would be struck, she gains an 8% chance per Spider Sense charge to consume 4 charges purifying any stun debuffs and gaining 100% chance to auto-block for 2 seconds. This, however, does not trigger parry and cannot be prevented by ability accuracy. Again, this works on opponents that normally break through auto-block. This is a great way to mitigate damage if you happen to slip up in a fight, or if you want to play a little more aggressive and know that you have a backup. Now, when auto-blocking a hit, Penny Parker burns 25% of a bar of power and inflicts direct damage proportionate to the amount lost. All personal power burn effects scale with base attack only. When blocking or auto-blocking a hit, Penny cannot be stunned and locks the opponent's power. Sorry, Apocalypse. When Penny would be struck by a heavy hit while auto-blocking, she gains 100% chance to resist a block break. Also, when performing a well-timed block, she gains 6% of a bar of power, which helps you be a little more strategic with how you build up your power meter. Now, let's check out her special attacks. The Special One. With Spider Protocol engaged, and 11 or more Spider Sense charges, on activation, Penny inflicts a power burn debuff during this special attack, burning 75% of a bar of power over 6 seconds. After activation, she gains 4 Spider Sense charges. Additionally, if the opponent fills a bar of power during the special attack, she gains an additional 3 bonus Spider Sense charges. Now one thing to keep in mind, the first hit of this attack doesn't grant power, and it burns 25% of a bar of power from the opponent. So you'll want to launch this attack just after the opponent gains a bar of power. Also, this doesn't have to be the first bar of power, it could be any bar of power. With the special 2, on activation, Penny pauses the duration of all Spider Sense charges until the special attack ends. Also, each web shooter hit deals a burst of incinerate damage for each Spider Sense charge. Now, with the Spider Protocol engaged, and with 8 or more Spider Sense charges, the last hit consumes all charges, inflicting an incinerate debuff per charge, each dealing big energy damage over 8 seconds. The damage on this attack is like a rare steak, red and juicy. But don't worry, Penny serves her opponents up well done. The Special 3. Penny inflicts a power burn debuff, burning 150% of bar of power over 15 seconds. If the sync shield's on cooldown, it's restored at 100% strength, allowing you to engage your spider protocol immediately. 
It also adds a flat 50% to the sink shield's current strength, maxing out at 200%. Now, let's check out the signature ability. When awakened, Penny gains Teenage Weapon, an always active ability where if the opponent fills a bar of power or recovers more than 5% of max health at once, she inflicts a heal block passive, preventing the opponent from healing for 4 seconds. Whenever the opponent heals while heal blocked, Penny deals 15% of the health they would have gained as a burst of incinerate damage. And if the salve mastery is active, the mastery is removed. If you're already thinking about targets for this ability, put that down in the comments below. Now, let's take her out for a spin in the champion rotation. For a damage focus, you'll want to build up your spider sense charges, so pushing the opponent just past the bar of power will give you a charge. Launching the special one will immediately drain and push back over a bar, giving you another charge. After activation, you'll gain an additional 4 charges, plus the 3 bonus charges you'll gain for pushing an opponent over a bar of power during that special attack, giving you an immediate 9 charges. Alternatively, try pushing the opponent to their special 2, or 2 power bars worth. This allows you to gain an additional charge to your max of 10 before entering into time charges. From there, build up to the special 2 to inflict big red number damage. However, for longer fights, building yourself up to just under a special 2 while launching a special 1 on an opponent just over any power bar leaves you loaded up and halfway to special 2. Building up another set of charges will reward you with big damage. That'll come in handy on those high health pool opponents. Now, let's check out some best uses. With Penny's immunity to both poison and incinerate, it makes her a perfect counter to hazard shift nodes. Speaking of immunities, using the Liquid Courage and Double Edge Masteries allow you to take advantage of increased attack due to her poison immunity. Just make sure to have Willpower and Coagulate activated to help mitigate the damage. Now, champions with high regen rates like Nick Fury for example when activating LMD are shut down by Penny's signature ability. Her ability to heal block also places her as a counter to life cycle nodes as well. Kinetic transference doesn't stand a chance with Penny's ability to power lock the opponent on block. With lengthy special animations, going up against encroaching stun allows you to time those specials a little easier. But not only that, if you've got charges, you're safe with auto block to save the day. Now, crafty summoners will find that strategically timing their attacks while the power burn debuff is active can stack on extra spider sense charges while pushing the opponent over the same bar of power multiple times. Now, there are many uses for Penny Parker out there. Are you already theory crafting? Where would you use her? A penny for your thoughts? Sound off in the comments and let's discuss. Now, let's check out some notable synergies. Angel Attack. With Airwalker or Falcon on the team, Penny Parker becomes stun immune while the Sync Shield is active. With Airwalker, he gains one power cosmic buff when winning a fight. With Falcon, Lock On lasts one second longer. Spider Geddon. With Spider Man Miles Morales, Spider Gwen, or Spider Ham on the team, all synergy members, including Penny, start the fight with four Spider Sense or Nonsense charges. Field Trip. With Daredevil, Hell's Kitchen, or Mysterio on the team, Penny can trigger the parry mastery against non-contact attacks while the Sync Shield is active. With Daredevil, exiting Murdoch Boy Mode has a 100% chance to grant a Righteous Wrath passive for 8 seconds. With Mysterio, his chemical gas is not consumed when inflicting poison with a heavy attack. That one's gonna be fun. Technician. This is a solo synergy with Kang on the team, where Penny gains 30% attack rating, but reduces the Sync Shield's max strength by 50%. This is a nice attack boost, especially if you have an aggressive playstyle with Penny Parker. And finally, Strange Beasts and Bizarre Machines. With Mole Man, Howard the Duck, or Venom the Duck on the team, the synergy members gain 900 attack rating and armor rating against XL opponents. Now, did you see a synergy that sparked your interest? Thinking of a new synergy team? 
Let us know your thoughts below and let's discuss. Thank you for watching this champion deep dive for Penny Parker. Are you ready? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you like the video and want to see more, click subscribe, like, comment, and share. And remember, we'll see you in the Battle Realm.